Hello and welcome to another plugin review called Mobs2x. What is a Mobs2x you might be asking? Well, it's a simple plugin that lets you catch and get mob eggs via normal means in your Minecraft server. So let's begin. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host BerryByte, they are a very reputable and very good host, and let's begin. Also, if you're wondering how you install plugins, be sure to check out my how to start your own server video, and yeah. I guess let's proceed. So what exactly is Mob2x plugin? As we already defined, it's a plugin that lets you catch mobs to get mob spawn eggs via natural means on your server. With this plugin, you can of course, as name suggests, catch mobs by throwing a desired, uh, desired throwable item at the mob. You can turn off mob catching per mob, change projectile used for catching the mob, define catch chances for each mob. For example, pig is 90% catch chance, while let's say you want players to be able to catch warden, you can set it to 1% and then you can set the item or money cost for catching the said mobs, if you are into that stuff. For example, players need to pay, I don't know, one egg to, you know, catch a mob. Or for example, they need to pay like $100 to catch one mob. Just a simple example. There are in total 78 mobs this plugin supports as of right now. I'm not sure if there that's all the mobs that are in Minecraft, but by the looks of it, it might be. And this plugin even supports mobs that, you know, you can get via normal means like Ender Dragon, for example, if I search, oops, not Ender, but Ender, you can only get Ender Might and Ender Man, but you can get the Dragon. But with this plugin, if you wish, you know, you can catch the Dragon, catch them all. With the code mobs, you can even deny which mob X player obtained can be used to change spawner mob, well, spawner type. Which, again, is good if you want your players, for example, to be able to create pig spawners, but let's say not create wither spawners, or, you know, even something worse. With all that said, you know, let me show you how plugin works. And it's a pretty simple stuff, so let's begin. One of the plugin features is that you can create a crafting recipe for the item you want to define as, you know, an egg to, well, an item to catch mobs with. So I left all of this default and the default recipe or crafting recipe is, as you can see, uh, six eggs and one gold ingot. And you get, well, I named it Poke Egg because, you know, it references Pokemon and all that stuff, but you get one Poke Egg. So let's craft it. So we need six eggs and one gold ingot and we just place it like that and voila. We got one poke egg. Yeah. And let's just spawn some pigs right now, as you can see. One, two, three. And, well, how do you use it? It's pretty simple. You just throw it at the egg or throw it at the pig. Throw the egg, throw the pig, throw the egg at the pig. And they are escaping my enclosure. You shouldn't be able to run out from the minecarts. But as you can see, you can try and catch him and... As you can see in the chat, we failed a few times, but we caught the pig. And the pig, you know, dropped its egg. Now, yeah, the plugin can also save if the, for example, mob is named. For example, we have our test subject, Johnson, over here. And, whoa, we caught him from the first try. And now, if we spawn him, as you can see, it still says pig spawn egg, but it spawns a lot of Johnsons. But yeah, that's pretty much all the plugin does, and as you can see, we caught the Warden. <laughs> and now we can spawn the Warden, of course. Hello, what are you doing? Mm, okay, he just dipped out. Fine. But as you can see, you can catch Warden and you can just use the spawn egg to, I don't know, track your friends by, you know, spawning it near them or, I don't know, some other awful things you can think about. And now everyone favorites part, the configuration part of the video. So as you can see, you have few items in the mobs to x plugin folder. You have data which contains your language files if you want to change language or 
create a custom language. Then we have mobs folder, which as you can see, if we edit it, it shows, you know, which mob you can and can't like catch the money cost. If you decide to, you know, make catching mobs cost money, the catch chance, the diamond or the item cost. If you decide, you know, you want to enable players to catch or need certain items to catch certain mobs. And yeah, as you can see, there's not much to explain because everything is explained throughout through the configuration with all the things you can do. And yeah, so that's the mob configuration. Then you have the last file, which is, well, the main configuration file. And as you can see, let's get to the top. You have the languages you want to set. You, you, you see, as you can see, you can set if the mob or the mob X should change the spawner type when right click. And yeah, you can set permissions, updates, enable chicken egg hatching, you know, if you are using the default egg. And then you have your items. If I'm not wrong, for default type, it's called capsule. But again, if I'm not wrong, you can create multiple, uh, multiple items that can be used to, well, catch mobs. For example, our item is over here. As you can see, it's default egg, item egg. Data, it's minus one. If you want to use custom model data and you have a resource pack for that, you can do it here. Then you have your name, as you can see, Pokeg, or you have your lore. And as you can see, you can add multiple lines by adding the dash and adding it. I think it's called underscores. But you see, this is the template to add more lines. And if I'm not wrong, you can add infinite lines. So if you for some reason need 50 lines, you can do that. And this is the capsule crafting recipe. As you can see, you need to have it set it's true or the crafting will be disabled. And this is, you know, the recipe. You can change it as you need and you can change here how much the crafting recipe will, well, give you the items, how many items. For example, you want one crafting recipe to give you four and you just change four and save and done. And you have the catch method, throw uh, it's true or punch so you can also punch mobs with the eggs if that's your kind of stuff then you have your throw effects as you can see you can set the custom particles now you can find those in i guess minecraft wiki and you can disable this if you don't want it and yeah there's as you can see a few more options catch baby mobs catch sheared mobs catch day mobs uh, i would uh, recommend leaving this you know disabled because if i'm not wrong yeah, those mobs can be caught by everyone, so yeah, you can basically steal someone's pet. Which, you know, people wouldn't be happy. And ignore catch them mobs value for camels, okay. Catch name mobs, yeah. You want this set to true, as you can see with our example Johnson there, we caught him when he was named. And you want name mobs to keep them. I, like i'm just explaining this uh what can you do but if you want to just keep the default pig value you can disable all of this and you know you will catch just the pig and that's that then you have if you want to save mob data as you can see the explanation and remove all spawning data this is if i'm not wrong contrary to this one so yeah as you can see, if this value is set to true, all data is normally set to final spawn egg will be removed before the spawn egg is given. So we'll be just get, you know, normal spawn egg. Then you can dis uh, uh, enable which worlds players can catch uh, or which regions players can catch the mobs. And yeah, enable item cost, enable money cost, ignore creative cost. I would suggest this leaving to true unless you have some kind of creative servers that focuses on this stuff so yeah and you can enable this if you want to give players you know the item they are using to catch the mobs back on fail chance i mean for some kind of balancing purposes i would leave this to fails but that's you know totally up to you and then there are the last one catch effects now this is up to you how you want to enable this or if you know even enable that and yeah that's the end of the amazing configuration now let's get back to the minecraft and with all of that shown it's time to wrap up the video 
No. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe for more plugin reviews in future. We will be covering paid plugins and resources too. So yeah, if you are into that stuff, you know, stay tuned, I guess. But yeah, and there is only one more thing and only one thing. And that is for you to stay awesome and, you know, see you guys in the next video. Bye.